Hi there, my name is Taylor Coplin, and in this video, we are going to be going over how to make your groups. This is going to be a pretty quick video, so let's get straight into it. So there's two methods on uh, how to make your groups, and uh, I'm going to show you one, and then I'm going to show you another one uh, that I prefer doing and is a huge time saver. So our uh, the first thing we need to do is we need to have a way to store our groups. So what we're going to do is uh, you can go into your screen here. You can click anywhere on the screen, uh, and uh, so we can click anywhere, and you can see just these things called pool sheets, presets, playback, other, and system, right? Uh, and depending on where you click, the window that it will create is going to open from the top left corner to the bottom right corner. So if we um, open something down here, um, I don't know, let's go to like a filter pool. It made... Um, the pool from the most top left of where our selection was all the way to the bottom right possible slot. Uh, so we don't want this. What we're going to do is so we're going to click on this little yellow ball icon and we're going to hit delete window. Okay. So to get our group pool up and running, we need to, let's go ahead and click in the top left of our screen here. And then we're going to go to pools and then to groups. Okay. Uh, you can resize your pools by clicking on this little yellow corner and you can drag it to whatever size you would like. We're going to put it there. And you can see, well, there's nothing in our group pool, but we made our patch. So what's up with that? Well, you actually have to store your groups to these pools because the the patch is made, but it doesn't know what's a group and what isn't. Okay. So um, the first method we can do is we could call up our um, groups. So we're using the same patch from the last video, right? Um, so we are going to go to, um, if you remember, we did, uh, channel ID or fixture ID 101. And you see, I have channel added here. Uh, if you didn't do a channel mode and you only did a fixture mode, you're going to want to say fixture, but, um, we're going to say 101 and we patched 10 lights or fixtures into our patch. Uh, so we're going to say through, okay. And then we're going to say 110. And you're going to say, please. You're like, okay, well, what happened? Well, um, it selected our fixtures that we just called up. And now what we're going to do is we're going to hit store. And then we're going to click on a pool uh, number. So we're going to store in pool one. So we're just going to click here. And there you go. And we can go ahead and then we can go to um, assign. If you hit assign twice, it becomes label. Click on our group. And we'll say this is our downstage quantums, right? Um, go ahead and triple clear out. Uh, and then what we are going to do is we also patched a, a mid stage. Uh, so, and those were in the uh, 200s. So we're going to do the same thing. So we're going to say 201 through 210, please store. There's a pool, right? Um, assign label mid stage quantum, right? Uh, we'll triple clear again. Uh, and then uh, we are going to save our file so we don't lose any progress. So you can go to backup, you can hit save show, and it's going to save, or you can just double tap backup and it will do the same thing. Uh, so again, uh, just like I said in the last video, uh, your uh, patch won't affect your uh, like programming for the most part. Like the the despite the fact that these are in two separate universes, we can actually go ahead and we can click on these to select them instead of calling them up through here. And we can even store these to a third group and we'll call this our all group. And if we clear out, you see if we select this one, it becomes green. If you select this one, that one becomes green. But if we select both of these, this becomes green, these become yellow. And the green shows what you actually have selected and the yellow shows you um, what it's pulling from to make that selection. So that's method one on how to make our groups. Method two, if we hit delete here, we can go through and we can remove our groups. Method two is my favorite. So if we go into the setup menu here and then go down here under where the patch and fixture schedule was, there's a tab here called auto create. And this is a time saver. So we're gonna click auto create and you're gonna see here our first thing our first tab is groups. You also do this for worlds, presets, and so on. But we're just going to do groups for this video. Um, so if you click on one of these, you can see all of our lights that are in that group. 
well um that's cool but like how do we how do we make this quick well when you go into here if you click where it says short name or you can click and drag to make a highlighted selection it's going to select both of these and all you have to do is come down here to create all click that it's going to say created two groups hit okay x out of here bam there's our two groups right and of course you can go back up to a line or sorry a, a sign tap it twice for label and we'll call this the downstage try or downstage quantums and then assign a sign and mid stage quantums cool the i prefer the auto create method just because it's faster and especially if you have a monstrous rig uh, it just saves so much time so you're not like you know sitting there like oh you know what what group was that was it you know what you know you just go into the auto create menu highlight everything hit create and it does it for you oh so, cool that's all we have for this video and i look forward to seeing you in the next